Welcome to Accounting 202 Online. I'm Tom Harmer, your accounting professor, and it's my pleasure and privilege to work with you this quarter to take you to the next higher plateau in accounting. In Accounting 201, we got the big picture, but we didn't go very deep into anything. In Accounting 202, we're diving deep. There's going to be a lot more meat and you will find a lot of good information and tools that you can use in your future. Now Accounting 202, we dive deeper into fixed assets. We go into multiple types of depreciation methods. We go into how the cost is determined of a fixed asset. Is it capitalized or is it expensed? We move on into liabilities, where current liabilities, we just, we did accounts payable and little notes payable in 201. In 202, we go deep. We do payroll. And in payroll, you see payroll from a W-2 perspective and a 1099 independent contractor perspective. You see it from... The employer's perspective for W-2 versus 1099, and you see it from the employee's perspective. Which would they prefer to be, W-2 or 1099? So that's payroll. We cover that. We go into long-term debt in notes payable and in bonds payable. Bonds payable involves present value and future value analysis. We touch on that. We move on into the owner's equity section. We just did a sole proprietorship in 201. 202, we go into partnerships and LLCs. We determine how to distribute profits and losses in a partnership or LLC, and also how to do the equity section of the balance sheet. We learn how to do partnership liquidations. Very good information. Then we move on to corporations. And we learn the, how to do the equity section for a corporation and how to deal with, with dividends, with stocks, with treasury stock, and all these various issues. And then after finishing corporations, we go into a study of business entities. At the end of this study, you will know which is the best entity to take a business into. And then finally, after we've finished all of these topics, our final finale is in the statement of cash flows. It's the fourth financial statement. It was mentioned in Accounting 201, but we never did it. Now we are doing the statement of cash flows. So that covers what we're doing in Accounting 202. It's going to be an exciting, but yet hard-working quarter. It's not easy, but it's got value. You will be stepping to the next higher plateau in accounting. But how is the class organized? How is it presented? How do you interface with it? So let's go from here and check out Canvas, our homepage online class website. See you there. Our online accounting 202 class will be conducted in two websites. The first one on the left there is our Seattle Central Canvas class home webpage. That's accessed through canvas.seattlecentral.edu. On the right is our publisher's homework manager program called Cengage Now. That's accessed via login.cengage.com. So let's go to a demonstration first of our Canvas homepage and how that's organized. Okay, here we are in our homepage in Canvas. And this is the organization that I have for the class. I'm using up here in the upper left the modular format, which means essentially that it's one module for each week of the quarter. So here's week one, and then below that is week two, and etc. But up here I call this the welcome module. 
And these are things that I'm hoping that you'll have done maybe even before class starts on the first day of the quarter. So then after the welcome module is completed, you can go into the week one module and start your assignments there. But this thing is set up so that I have prerequisites to enter any module. Now, of course, the welcome module, there's no prerequisite, but you have to do everything required in the welcome module before you can access the week one module. So you're going to introduce yourself. That requires a submission. It says must submit the assignment, okay? By October 1, you can see the due date. It's worth five points. Read the syllabus, watch the instruction videos, okay? You must view this page. We're gonna go there in a little bit. You're assigned to uh, register in Cengage now. You must view the page. What I do is I print the Cengage roster every evening to see who's registered, and then your first day of the quarter, you should be registered in this, in this uh, homework manager with Cengage. Then Excel practice. Uh, with video and quiz. Now you notice here it says must view. It doesn't say submit. It's due on October 1. Well, see this is not a date range up here. This is our welcome module. October 1 starts down here. Okay, so you'll see what I do frequently is I will put an assignment in the current week that's due next week just to notify you, hey, this needs to be done. So you can go into it here. Now you can submit the assignment either here or in the next week. It's the same assignment. They're just, it's just shown in two different places. So it doesn't matter which one you submit to, it ends up just in that assignment. Okay, and then here's the quiz on the syllabus and Cengage Now. So I have questions in there that relate to both Cengage and the syllabus. So there you go. There's our uh, welcome module and our fundamental organization of the class. Now if you notice I click on a particular heading. These headings, by the way, again, include all of the assignments that are due in that week. So you can see what is due for the entire quarter by the week right here. And when you want to see the assignments, you click on it. There's your assignments. And you can move through them week after week. Now, I'll show you also, this is available on your cell phone. Let me grab that. So you can see here on my cell phone, I've got the same class, except it doesn't have the sidebars in it, so not as much information. And you don't want to be trying to do Excel assignments uh, through your cell phone. They don't, they don't come across right. But you see, I can push there, touch on it, and it shows all my assignments. So you can do that. I don't have my inbox for communication here so you can't email me through canvas through your phone so actually it's most practical to do all of this class on your computer but there you go it is available on your phone also okay you can see all your assignments in the modular view for each week now let's take a look here it says you finished your welcome module. Now you're in week one. Let's take a look at some things I have here. We're going to submit that Excel quiz here. That's required. Now the first part of the week, every week I have a lecture that I write up and I provide to you here. Now this is what I send to you as an announcement every week. So the first, just before the first day of each week, I will be modifying and tweaking this uh, lecture for the week and then emailing it to you. That way you get it wherever you're at in your email. But it's also here and you still have to view it even though you read it in your email, but you can open it. That's considered a view and you're out of there. But this is a this is a, a lecture for the week and it includes numerous items that are not necessarily in the book, so it's important to read it. Okay, so you have that. Here's an assignment. Every chapter I have a uh, review or it walks through a summary of it. I'll let you look at that on your own. Here are the fixed asset e-lectures. Every chapter has a collection of e-lectures and I'll show you that. So we have here, these are, I assign them for you to watch. Some students, you know, will play them and as they read the book. So they have the verbal input and that. But that's uh, your option on how to use that. But these 
include PowerPoint narrated lectures, plus they have animated, here's an animated example exercise of, size of doing double declining balance depreciation. So they have problems that they do and they narrate and show you how to do it. But these are the e-lectures for the whole chapter. So I provide these for every chapter in the respective module. This is a practice exercises page. You go in here and these are exercises that I've created that uh, some of them have videos that are, give you a video lecture on how to do it. And if it has a video, it'll say video in it. But all of these have the solution so that you will have a problem you can actually print it out and do or you can do it online if it's Excel. And then you can go and see the solution and see how you did. And so this is a Another interface in, in doing, when you work in Cengage Now Online Homework Manager, pull down menus and all of that, you know, not quite as strong as just having a blank formatted Excel web sheet there that you have to complete on your own with no pull down menu. So I have that for you. So that's kind of a review of, of one week. Okay, that's week one there. After you have viewed and submitted all of these assignments, then you will be allowed into the next week. Now, so you can find all your assignments in the modules that are in Canvas, okay? But you don't see in Canvas the assignments that are due in Cengage now. So you can see that. We come over to the left sidebar and it says calendar there, okay? You can click on calendar and it'll go right into this, okay? So here's September's calendar for accounting 202. I'm going to go to October because what they do is they all show the last week of the prior month. So here's the last week of September and then here's all of October. And I use the calendar to basically put reminders and notices and assignments, reading assignments and things where there's not a submission involved. But I want you to know, okay, I want you to expect you to be starting this, reading this chapter by this particular day. and. Uh, now, so we've got here, this is our week number one. We want to be registered in Cengage now. Your assignment is to read chapter 10, okay? I mentioned here that there's extra credit for doing the time report. Uh, you'll see that in the assignments. I'll get that posted in week one also. It's uh, optional 10 points of extra credit, but it's where you keep track of your time each week in the class, and that way, at the end of the class, you can submit that, or even during the week. But it gives me a feel for how much time I'm causing you to do to work in this class. So here we go. Here's our, this is Thursday, the first week. And this is the fourth day of the quarter. And by the fourth day of the quarter, I have to have these submissions. If I have none of these things done, then I am required to force drop the student on Friday. So that's why I have them do on Thursday and if I do force drop you and you're for some reason not here that first week uh, you can re-register in the class but <laughs> this is accounting you don't want to get behind in accounting it's miserable to catch up okay so there we go also I make a note here this is the last day to withdraw from the class with a hundred percent refund you get the textbook for free right with a 20-day free trial in Cengage so if you're not sure all you have to do is get the book for free, get Cengage for free, and by Friday, make your decision, okay? So there's the calendar. So, okay, we're back in our home page. Now, let's go take a look at the syllabus. I'm going to double click here. You'll see that this is not just going to the syllabus. It's going into a page that has the syllabus in it, okay? So I'm giving you some narratives here and links to all kinds of other assets you need in getting familiar with with all of these different tools you have available. Okay, How to submit questions to your professor, I put that right at the top because I need you to provide screenshots of what you're talking about when you submit me a question. This is telling you and provides you a free uh, utility. I recommend this Gadwin uh, screenshot, but I know that um, your Mac computers and there's other screenshot capture programs out there. But I expect you to know how to capture uh, a picture of what you're talking about. Put it in a Word document, do your narrative, 
and when you submit your question to me, that's attached, and I can go see a picture of it. Okay? Here's the syllabus here, Canvas instruction videos plus video testimonials about jobs required in accounting. This is a really, these videos are quite a hoot. There's two of them in there. Uh, I recommend you take a look at that. Here's the 20 day free trial for Cengage Now. You can, you can log in here, but you need the class code and I only provided the class code in the syllabus. So, uh, so you can register into Cengage Now out of the syllabus or from here. Okay, Cengage Now student tips using Cengage Now. To answer some of the questions in that quiz, you need to review this document, okay? Here's that time report I told you about. If you're interested in doing that extra credit, then you can keep track of your time here and take a look at that. Here's some accounting tutors. Now, you know, I've had students in the past that say, Collie, you know, those, uh, those narrated PowerPoints are of our textbook. So it's like the same thing twice. And uh, they want a different perspective. So I put this in here because this is an accounting professor who's created YouTubes on uh, introducing this same material. So there's another perspective there if you're interested. Okay, and then here, that Excel practice exercise that you're having a quiz on uh, is also available here. Okay, so let's go into that syllabus. So I clicked on it, and down in the lower left is where the link is to the Word document. So I clicked on that, and here we go into the document. All right, so here's our syllabus. One thing I mentioned here is that this course is designed for individual, independent students and not for group studies. I've had group studies, and you know what happens? I end up with Excel submissions that are exactly identical. I don't want group studies. I want this to be your work. So if I see a submission that's identical to somebody else's, I flunk both people on that particular assignment. So. Uh, be good, you know, do your own work here. I'm grading you. The grade in this class is for you, not your group. Okay, there is campus tutoring on campus. There's online tutoring. So there you go. You, you can talk to a tutor and get help there, all right? Okay, so we talk about here. Now here's your walkthrough video that you're watching right now, okay? Register and Cengage now. So these are all populated for 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 now for this class so you can click on here and register so you get your free version you don't have a code yet you've got it for free for 20 days but at the end of 20 days they want the code that comes from the book at the bookstore and just to give you a heads up when you buy the book at the bookstore I know it's expensive but it covers three quarters and the code that comes for Cengage now is good for three quarters if you buy a used book yeah you can get Cengage Now Online Direct for $160, but it's only good for one quarter. So you can multiply that times three, plus the cost of your used book. And you know, it doesn't pencil to buy a used book and the code separately because the Cengage Direct is just by the quarter. Okay, so let's see. Computer expert, you can read the rest of this. It talks about homeworks, exams, and the final. Okay, mature conduct. When you communicate with me, I don't want I don't want to be spoken to in text format. I want a professional type of presentation. We're not pals. We have a professional relationship. I'm the instructor, you're the student. So let's communicate in a professional fashion there. Extra credit for identifying errors. I give extra credit to students that focus on errors and I also I'm providing for you all of the student evaluations of Accounting 202 last quarter, I'm providing those to you so you can read what people said about the class. There's some good suggestions. There's also some complaints. And I'm wanting to address those complaints and suggestions and improve the course. If you give me a suggestion or a correction, I'll give you extra credit and accumulate those in a particular place. And after you've accumulated five points, you raise to the status of executive assistant. And then I'll give you, a, if you request it, I'll give you a, a great referral for your assistance in my class. Okay, chat cafe, that's available for talking to other students. Academic honesty required. Here's your scoring calculation method there. Conversion charts. Okay, and here's the tutoring on campus. 
and tutoring online. Withdrawal from the class, that's uh, available in that calendar. I show it there. It's also in your, uh, in your Seattle Central uh, website. Okay. And then down here at the very bottom, these are additional resources. Now I have Canvas help, so like I'm not going through and trying to instruct you in how to use Canvas and how to use Cengage because they have all these help videos, tutorials already there. So and then down here is Cengage now. So there you go, there's your syllabus. So you can see it's best to deal with this thing online with all those live links in it. Okay, back in our home page, just uh, to mention here on the right sidebar, this has a view course stream here which shows you your assignments that are coming up is due here and then it mentions here these are comments that are coming out of my calendar so you can see if you read this you go to the calendar and see right where it is so this is just giving you uh, another view of um, you know what's what's happening in the course okay now let's come down here to where we have Cengage Now. I provide in each week an access directly into Cengage Now. You can log into it from anywhere, but this is available here. So you can see that's where I'd log in. Okay, so here I've logged into Cengage Now. I've already registered, registered in the class. So when you log in, you will come to this particular same location. Now it shows here three assignments. However, I provide practice assignments that I want you to show. They don't show right here, but if you click on all assignments on the left, then it'll show all. So I've got practice, practice. Now practice assignments are not required. They're optional. I track nothing on them. There's no points gained from it. It's just a place to go to practice assignments before you do them for credit in Cengage Now. So, and by the way, I just mentioned that all the problems that are in Cengage Now are in these practice assignments. So, if you did all the practice assignments, then you would have essentially done all the homework, all the quizzes, all the midterms, and all the finals. So, I mean, there's so many. I, and there's also algorithmic problems, which use the same narrative but different numbers that sort of a thing. But I'm providing and I separate true and false from exercises because throughout true and false you only need one attempt on all true and false assignments mostly. There's only one attempt on homework. But on the other homework for exercises I give you three attempts. Okay so you see here here's true and false due on October 1st for chapter 10. You're going to push that button there to take it. You haven't made any submissions. You're only allowed one submission, one take on it, uh, but unlimited time. Okay, and then here's exercises. Now, it, see it says here you're given three attempts. Okay, so you can do it three times, and that, um, you know, each time you can you lose a little percentage. If, if you need a hint to get it right, you lose 5% on that particular problem. Second, if you need another hint, then you lose another 5%, and then after that you get zero on it if you couldn't get the right answer. But then it gives you the correct answer after you're done, uh, which is a good thing because you get immediate feedback when you've made an error, and that's a good learning experience there. So there's your practice. You can see there's no due dates for practice yet. Practice for a particular chapter, you got assignments for the chapter. Then we all end up after we do quizzes. The homework assignments because there's multiple attempts and whatnot there's very low points given for it but the quizzes and midterms and final of course they're one attempt with no help and they're timed and and they're they're created in such a fashion that it's hard to complete so if you're referring to your book to answer all of these questions you're not going to finish it and you're going to get a lower score and that's the only way i can uh, i can try to uh, to measure your actual understanding of the material so keep that in mind all right so that is my introduction there to Cengage now and you have all those videos that can show you other things about how to utilize it but that's all I need to do here so that's Cengage let's go back to our home page Okay, back to the home page, and I have one last thing I want to show you. I'm going to go to that syllabus right here, 
and I have prior quarter student evaluations and grades so you can take a look at what's happened in a prior quarter and if you take the time to read those evaluations they have some uh, narrated comments is, uh, is the focus I have there and uh, I look for suggestions and things where I can improve the class and if you help me with that if you notice some of these people have mentioned in their evaluation about my mistakes and errors well I give you extra credit to tell me during the quarter so I can fix them so help me find these things that need to be fine-tuned I'll give you extra credit and maybe uh, you'll get up to that executive assistant status so there you go there's a review of accounting 202 online welcome to the class thank you for being here and I hope to do an excellent job serving you being a good instructor in this next plateau in accounting thank you very much